Now that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is some crispy chicken. Now what say you to that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one today. Uh, I got some crispy chicken drumsticks just done hoodie style in the oven. We all know it. If you don't know it, I got a video on it in my repertoire somewhere. It's just how I do my chicken crispy skins i got a little impatient to be honest with you i'm starving i'm fasted like a mf right now and uh, i just couldn't hack my oven being a little bi because it was taking its sweet a time and um you know yeah yeah hunger so i'm very very hungry i gotta get to it i got three dips i want to showcase those at some point and also you know before we do anything more we must abhor so I got a iceberg on deck. I'm gonna try to shimmy, 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 ya yeah, right in there. And uh, today we actually are bringing a new character into this whole situation, and that is a cherry vanilla Coke Zero. So very interesting move uh, on my part. We have not gone down these routes together on this Chanel, and um, we'll see how it pours. We see how it fizzes. We see how it stacks up to a Dr. P and a and an A&W Arut Ambina. Yeah, that was a noise. That was a noise that I made. You're going to have to live with it. Guess, because guess why? Because you're in my video, okay? So, we pour. We see the sprinkle. We see the fizz. And while that's happening, what do we say? Shout out to the coldest water for keeping me uh, paid in this B Because guess why? YouTube is playing... They are on their funny business these days. I know it's because it's COVID and like nobody's consuming anything and the advertisers are pulling out. Uh, so, I mean, I understand that, but YouTube's still just acting just wild lately. It's a weird time. So, shout out to the coldest water. If you'd like to get a bottle for yourself, down below, we got a link. You save 10% on your entire order. You put yourself, your name into the draw for a free one. They give free ones out every week i believe so code hoodie links down below they'll get you that and you'll have a nice old time 36 hour cold water now we sip we're bringing back classics today Ooh, that's got me wide-eyed and bushy-tailed okay speaking about pulling out before we get into this video, I just want to show you something super funny uh, that I saw here. And it just reminded me so much of myself. And uh, this is a graphic called, what is it? One beanie for your weenie. And he's wearing a black beanie and it's a condom. And beanie for your weenie. How dope is that? That should be the condom of me. But condoms suck. Sometimes they're necessary though. <clears throat> Anyhow, moving on, let's eat. Uh, actually, I actually have a little story about that graphic design and that graphic designer. And uh, you guys are gonna, all gonna resonate well with it because you see the label all the time and it's here on the channel. So we have some crispy drumsticks, but I do wanna get the dip up into an area that is first and foremost in a sense. So we got honey mustard, hoodies homemade honey mustard blend should be selling it in a bottle soon. I'm actually thinking about developing sauces. Also, we have just regular chicken and real barbecue from Kraft, the most <laughs> banger, and by banger, I mean like kind of hick barbecue. And then I spun up some Franks with some Hidden Valley. That's Hidden Valley in French. And uh, yeah, and those are my sauces for today. Now, I got these crispy drums and somehow they look like they were cooked with parmesan cheese on the bottom i promise you they aren't i've never actually achieved this before so i don't know what kind of sorcery has happened but i do know that i've been craving uh, homemade chicken wings and unfortunately for me at least to here in canada i don't know what it's like for everybody else in the world but this pandemic this covid season has 100 percent brought down the entire chicken wing industry on my side. So we deal, right? We coat that in the honey mustard. You guys, this is the best honey mustard you could ever make at home. 
I promise you, it's it's it is. Restaurant quality. Mmm. Steaming, piping. Perfect. Look at that dree up. I definitely gotta make some sauces. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a hoodie salt made honey mustard. I'm a jar or bottle and sell that. And I also have this secret sauce that I that I'm working on right now behind the scenes for y'all to eventually try. Okay, another crispy guy on the back end. Not so much on the front, but oh well. That said, very, very ready for some barbecue action. Barbecue action. Off to the side you go. Into the mouth. You go. Mm. She's tender. She's crispy. She's hot. To trot. So about that logo that I shared with you there, it might be interesting for you to know that that girl there, I sent her the prototype, like my idea of the black hoodie logo and everything. But she was an old friend of mine who is responsible for the black hoodie logo. So yes, I had the uh, I had a graphic designer do that for me with the concept out of my brain, of course. But uh, on top of all the music stuff I do. And all these YouTube videos and shit. I should learn it, but I just, I mentally don't have the patience to learn graphic design. I do, however, need to add it to my repertoire because it would just save me a bunch of money. This is the Southwest Ranch, by the way. Save me so much money and give me like so many more freedoms. Especially in Relatively to like, if I do come up with sauces and stuff, like like uh, branding labels. If I start selling beanies, shirts and things like that. It can just be self-sufficient. Because I tell you what, when you start creating these videos, you learn to be a jack of all trades real quick. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, with every video, I've been figuring out, you know, just optimizing this camera. Trying to get it completely solid. In this video, I think I've gotten a lot closer. Literally, I brought it a lot closer to my face. I know the sound is good. The part I was waiting for, for my mic to connect to the camera finally came in. So, some of my past few videos, the, uh, the sound has just been janky as fuck. But I couldn't avoid it. I was just waiting on that Amazon delivery. And it finally came. And how crazy it is it that in quarantine alone Jeff Bezos owner of Amazon he lost 50 billion in his divorce and in quarantine alone he's already made back 40 billion on his way to becoming a trillionaire which is in my opinion I don't know if he does good things with his money or whatnot but I'm so morally conflicted with shopping with Amazon but in these times it just makes everything so much easier for me personally at least but it's like I don't want to contribute to this guy's pockets anymore Because from what I know, he's not like the greatest guy, I don't think. But at the same time, it's like, ooh, look at that crisp on that one. Wow. It's almost like, what choice do we have, right? You're stuck in the house. All your local stores are like either closed down or... We have to wait in a quarantine line and it takes forever. And maybe you're paranoid as shit and you don't even want to go into public. All I know is that guy was making a killing. He already made a killing. And it's that type of shit that just... It's like... No one human ever... Ever needs that much money. It's ridiculous to think that he has it. And now that he's divorced, couldn't even imagine the dark web type of shit that that guy gets into if he goes on vacations or whatever Hirajuku girls you know what I mean that guy's probably getting it in the freakiest ways not imagine beating life to that degree to the point where I hate looking at myself in the viewfinder but it always happens that's what I miss about my iPhone filming on the iPhone I could flip the viewfinder around but when I filmed on the iPhone I just could never see myself so I would just it'd be more natural 
the viewfinder is really a thing. So I might start not having that out. Anyways, I could never imagine beating the game of life so hard to the point that you could literally pay people to do pretty much anything you want. There's people out there that can be bought and for the right amount of money will do anything. That's insane to me. That he wields that level of power. That type of money goes way beyond hookers and blow. All I'm saying. Let me know that down below though, how you feel about like shopping on Amazon. I know a lot of people are very conflicted about it right now. I completely understand why. I am too. I want to support my local, but most of the locals aren't even open. You know what I mean? And it's such a shame that they're going to potentially go out of business. they can't open there's so many amazing small businesses going under that I've seen like all these reports from Toronto of these bars that I used to frequent all the time 30 years 40 years just done can't can't sustain it close 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 very sad. I feel really bad for the owners and the people who spent literally decades, possibly their entire lives, building and sustaining this thing. I mean, just making, you know, a living, getting by running this thing that they loved, and now it's dead. That's, that's fucking painful, man. I kind of know what it's like firsthand. It's like running a YouTube channel that is starting to fail. <laughs> Hello. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I sure did. Um, till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.